here. There I have to do less cutting if I go there. Go there. But if it's back here, it might be back closer to the seat. But right there would be parked, yeah, right? I think that's fine there. Right there. Hey, that's lots of ways from the dash, I think. That's all the way ahead in park right there. So that would be park. And I'd have to do less cutting over there that's, and stuff. That's where to do it then. That's as long right. as it's not hitting the dash, because I mean, I can reach forward and grab it, right? Oh, like, right I've there. got my, some of the cars. Your hand like, would be ahead yeah. like this anyways, right? Yeah. So you're happy Good. with that. What are we on air? Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. We've got Tim in the house. We've got Doug in the house. We've got Nate in the house. We've got Jackie in the house. Uh, it's a full house. What we're doing right now is I'm going to put us on air. Oh, there we are. We're on air. What's going on is we're, we got the tail lights put in. I had to do with some, just dig out some paint and some primer. Doug is assembling and putting the doors back together on the inside there. Got his little head goggles on, paying attention. Um, he got her. But what we're going to do is I'm going to run over and get the trunk lid. And uh, I don't know. No, if that'll tighten that up or not, Doug. That just has to be snug, I would say. It's it's that's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the trunk lid and bring it over, and it's going to take three of us to put it on. Uh, Nathan is in doing the shifter on the Hudson. So we, we bought a shifter, and he's putting that on there, um, figuring that out. But we're going to steal them to put the trunk lid on. And the reason we're going to steal them for the trunk lid is because of the more help, the better. Um, the hinges are not in that great a shape, like they are what they are, and that's what it's going to be. Um, let's go over and get the trunk lid to bring it over. If you want to help me, I'm going to open this door here. You might get cold, Tim. I'm going to open the door for a little bit and bring that trunk lid across. Tim looks more insulated to me. <laughs> Is that true, Tim? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think Tim's got some insulation on himself. <laughs> I'll never miss taking a poke at Tim. Never. <laughs> we'll, I'll get you to bring the bench and I'll bring the trunk lid. Okay? I'll get the bench over here. It's quite a piece of ice here, isn't it? <laughs> yes. It didn't disappear. It just feels like it's flooding everything, you know? I hope it's the same color. <laughs> huh? Hope it's the same color. So we obviously painted the hood and the trunk lid separate. Uh, you're gonna take the I'm gonna take the trunk lid. Sure. I'm thinking so I can. Choke with those buttons and stuff on your shirt. You're gonna you're gonna bring the bench. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready for a hand there any times? No. Oh, Squeaky. Hey. It's quite a carry. Let's we'll go ahead a little bit. Yeah, we'll just, that should be fine there like that. I'm gonna go shut that door. My foot's wet in these Crocs. First time I've ever wore a pair of Crocs and I'm wet. Yeah, it's gonna shock the same one. <laughs> <laughs> no. I got, I got two pairs of work boots. One pair of sneakers. I just want a pair of sneakers in the weekend. It's not summer out yet, so I want to get all the doors closed. All right. I'm thinking that. Obviously. Which way do these hinges go? I need my my glasses. I need to take the tape off that first. There should be the long pieces on the
Yeah. Hmm. Long part goes on the trunk lid. Now there must be a left and a right also. I'm thinking there is. They must tilt in, not tilt out. You can see that on the front, it's got to tilt. So obviously there's, I'm thinking that it would be like that to be long part on the This one goes here. Same size. Alrighty. Didn't take it apart, so I don't quite know, but doesn't seem like it's like that should be like that Do you know those spoons those should probably go up inside I'm thinking those are for up inside inside the car I'm thinking I'm hoping they're the same length. They must be the same. No, they're probably not. They are the same length. Are these ones the same length? Look to be. One's got a washer on it, one doesn't. I don't want that washer, I don't think. All right. Now, that there goes with this, obviously. Looks good. We'll leave those right there. floor okay let's do this snug those up a bit. I think they're half inch. How are you making it, Doug? That scares me when it gets going too strong. Don't go too strong, Doug. Look how nice the handle I'll say the handle, but like seeing where we come this way. Yeah, you open that door up there, you can see how we get all the mechanisms cleaned, or Doug cleaned all the mechanisms up. That looks so much nicer, cleaned up. If you know what I'm trying to say, like that piece there and where the door is going to latch, looks nice. It's going to look A1. Take the this up. Hmm. Snug these up. Hmm. 
That, put that light. Hmm. And they're just on there easy. Nathan, are you interested in giving us a hand? I can do. You betcha, buddy. They really um, I don't know what to get you to work. To get you to hold or <laughs> try to make sure I don't have Mr. Greaser McGreasersons on my hands here. We'll keep them in the I way. Can, I can actually do the. You guys, if you guys want to hold it, does it look different color? It does right now. Stop! 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 Right stop. There. <laughs> You're right underneath the light. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. All right. So yeah, that's the right. I remember doing that. So um, I'm going to take these off. I may as well because they're not going to be able to put them down through there with that on there. My the rubber set there. The rubber set on the car easier. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys your hand to put on the rubber. You can put your hand on the rubber, Doug, and just keep it on there if you like. I'm not sure. So, maybe you could stick our finger right in the middle, Doug, or something. I'm not sure whether just, just to set the trunk lid on and then me go underneath and, and put them on, or what do you think? Well, gonna be case to in the you guys are going to have to turn around, obviously. Yep, whatever you're... Th um, I'm going to have to get in the car. You're gonna have to be careful. I would say we just set the trunk lid on. Okay. Maybe that's what we should just do anyways. I can, I can get in there and take them off. The All right. Is there? Is that the tank? There's that tank. Or that tanks. The tank? way. Yeah. Let's just turn off. We'll be, I'll be the third wheel here. Let's turn around and around. I'll watch. Maybe I can. Maybe dug you on the back on the back part of the trunk lid. And we'll just set this down in there nicely somehow. Can you set your trunk lid down, Doug, without hitting anything? I'm on my holes. So I think. Am I. There, mine are down in. Yep, you might just just go down, Doug. Just go down slow. Just tape, just one, just one second here. Just push that tape in there. Okay. Just go down slow, Douglas. We're not hitting anything yet. Oh, it's sitting on tape, I'd say. That's good. Good. Oh no, look, it looks the same in here. No, that's different color. Looks the same in here, buddy. Good. I'm going to put the bolts on it. Yeah, what do you think, good. Tim? I don't know if I want to take a bite of it. I like it. Fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. I love fantastic. <laughs> Chocolate milkshake. Chocolate milkshake. Uh, milkshakes bring the boys. What together. color would you do the guts? If you know, when you eat a chocolate, do you like do you like pink inside? Do you like red inside? Or do you like green inside? Like do you like peppermint? Do you like straw? Caramel. Caramel. It could be a caramel interior. Caramel interior would be pretty cool. Chocolate and caramel seem to be going together for a number of years. <laughs> 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 All right. You've got you've, that, you've got that. I may as well give that to you. There's, no, there, that so too. you've got. Um, I'm not sure which ones the washers yeah. go on, but and I and I only want them like just snug. You know, if you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Remember when we um, took just, them off, Dad? That goes up in like that first. That goes up like in the back. goes up like that. Goes up like like that. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking that screws in there like that. Yep, that's the way we took it apart. Hold them up. Yeah. There. And I'm not sure, but that ratchet might be inside the trunk. That's not where I wanted to leave it, leave it but it's a half inch. I'll get you gear up another one because I'm not opening that until... Oh, yeah, we're not putting the latch on either until we, we were going to do that oh. hidden latch thing, aren't we, when we're done? Yes. That's right. We had it figured out, though. We already had it figured out. You do. Remember Doug? That? Excuse me. Oh. We'll do that. We'll go for the inside of that. Um, it's yeah, nice to be back, folks. That's one thing. Go nice gentle, to be back. I guess. Um, Back on the good stuff. Oh, we have. I'm gonna. I'm actually. I'm gonna go try and put a fender skirt on. I'm gonna Ooh. go grab a fender skirt, get it in on this side, see what it goes like this side. This side over here. I think I have to do a little bit of filing on this little bit to get that one in there. Doug, you want a light? Don't push up on the trunk lid if, if you're if you're willing. Doug, don't don't push up on the trunk lid. Like just kind of make sure they. Go on their own, <laughs> if you will, yeah, yeah. because there's no one out there holding it. I'm going to go grab a fender skirt to explain your shifter if if, if she comes over and films it. Um, I can explain a little bit of it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, explain a little bit of it. So, it's the first one I've done on a TH350 here, but... That's, that's, listen, not everybody gets, you know, I, I never even hooked one up myself yet, to be honest with you. Like it's, yep, the rod part will be easy. I mean, it's all pretty straightforward. But, go for it. But uh, there's one piece that bolts on with a tail shaft, 
which when we built the floor of the car and we put the train in it, we weren't sure exactly where it was going. I had to trim this on this end. It was back mount. And then on the side of the transmission, there's two dowel holes. This here actually just sets in the dowel holes and then the bolts, there's a word for it, but the bolts will go in and just leave that tight in. And that's how it mounts to the tranny. Sets in a lot like this when it's down in there. And then uh, we figured out a spot there where it was best for Chad. It's adjustable to where he wants to go. So we're actually going to go back up here, set it up there so it won't hit the dash. It'll have lots of room for parking, reversing. Then it's just be a shorter shaft to get it a full adjustment thread broad more or less. So we'll trim that back to length so we can get all the gears in there. It's actually pretty nice so it came with heim joints and stuff for the for the rod. So it's a pretty nice kit actually. And then uh, then we can then we can uh, finish hey, the make floor in there. Good man. Get that Almost back like on when you say and good. the inside will be done with that. And we'll actually have a new nice neutral reverse, nice neutral start in there. Rock out and stuff. So. But uh, that's, Doug was mad at me though because I was cutting his floor. He had nicely painted, but <laughs> it had to be done, right? <laughs> so yes. We're we're back at her and get things going here. It'll be pretty good. Two head, like I give you washers, didn't I? Two washers on one. Yeah, two washers and then two belts. Yeah, I just I, I just leave the washers out of it. It's got the little. Yeah. It's got the lock washer on, has it not? Yeah, it's got the. That's why I was kind of wondering. Yeah. I think it's fine to leave it without. You gotta be able to touch it, haven't I? If I can't touch it, can't work on it. Wow. I had to tape up the locks on the back side of this bad boy. And the reason being is if I didn't tape them up, they probably wouldn't work that well. Good, good, still works. I think Ford was on to the first um, non-adjustment trunk lid. They were on like, you know, a lot of cars nowadays have no adjustment in them. And on that trunk lid, there's no adjustment. It doesn't think, or I don't think there is. And they were on to something, they just didn't know it. Less adjustment means more, you know, easier to put together. Like if you start have to adjust something or fix something or make something look straight, um, it takes time to do that. Where can just where you can just bolt it on and it fits. Well, I mean that's how that trunk lid fits. They bolt the hinges on and then. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just hitting that Nathan. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna put these on. Like I mean, they should be on the car, I suppose. And we've got paint, so you know what happens when you get paint on something. It, it grows. It grows. Jeez, Doug. <laughs> These are scary. I know one thing I need. Yep. That's right, I'll get them. I'm a big boy now. <laughs> These are just round rod. And a piece of metal for a fender skirt. How'd you make it? That's awesome. Ooh. If you want to pull, um, there's a stainless steel piece that's in the front that lays down on the, on the front piece. We got our if you just want to pull that aside and, and try to make it cleaner, <laughs> maybe try some boomerang on it or try something on it. Just trying to bring the, the sheen up a little bit, if you will. I don't really want to. Why can't I see? I know why, because it's dark. <laughs> Nervous. Here we go. I don't want to. Should almost have a rubber up in there. There we go. It really went in there nice, to be honest with you. A lot nicer than I expected. Oh, wow. 
Wow. Nice. Got a nice little gap in there. Didn't spend a bunch of time in that gap, neither. And the reason being is time. I mean, you can mess with that for hours. Got to take a look. Got a little dust on the bottle down here. That looks good, eh? I got a little filing I got to do on the other one, on the other side, I think. I'm going to try that first. Um, that's, that, that's the boomerang, yeah. Probably be the stuff to use. You can get a little bit cleaner, you know I mean? It's kind of dirty, isn't it? Dirty. Or even, I don't know, something. Make as clean, make, make as, clean as you can. How's that, Douglas? And then we, <laughs> okay, re-chrome it then. Yeah. Uh, I got a little pair of files here. A friend of mine, Jack, did me. And, uh, and I was thinking, what would what, 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 what I do with those? You know what I mean? But I use these little things more than you can shake a stick. You haven't got one of them with a 90 on it I could use, do you? A 90? <laughs> you have a little small, do you have a round, small one there? Round small. You're going to use the one I want then. And I'll bring it to you. Do you need, could you use that one? I don't, I don't know. No, it's okay. too big. I, well, try it. Let's just switch for a minute. <laughs> okay. Can I switch for a minute? Yep. Okay. No, this is the one I need. <laughs> I was looking for them, but I didn't know you had them. <laughs> there, this one here was, has been hassling me. Not sure if I got it. I'm going to have to get that small one. That's awesome, Chad. Did you get done what you need to get well, done? Well, right, for the second, you can take it if you want. Okay. I'm just going to go get the other fender skirt is what I'm going to do. Um, so we have the grill. We're going to probably try to clean some of the pieces up, probably. Uh, we got the front bumper. We got the back bumper. I, should, I, I want to do something more to the back bumper. I have them. I have these pieces right. Oh. Okay, there's that one. Should be get, down for, get down for a count. I've got these, these right here. They're the exhaust tips. I've had them for a long time. I had them when they were almost perfect, and they'd be sitting for so long that they got rusty. But I'm planning on taking these exhaust tips. I'm thinking I'm going to. I'm going to change the exhaust tips that are on the car and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fabricate these to go underneath of this piece and, and it does not bother me that there's weld marks on it, it does not bother me I'm going to do whatever I need to do to get them on there and uh, we'll run the bumper the way it is and we will not care because we'll be happy with it thank you sir so I'm going to run over and grab the other fender skirt I've got the little tiny file so I can file the hole a little bit. Do we know how the grill goes on? Like what, what, let me see this piece, Does something go over top of that one? Oh, so something goes over top of it, so this would go right down on. These clips right here. Yeah. Maybe through the holes in the front piece. Well, I'm just thinking though, like, oh, you're wiping it down with that. Okay, that's. It's yeah. not brand new. It's not brand new, but it is bringing it back. I mean, it's, I don't know what to say. You probably could make, spend some time on that. You could polish it, I suppose, but I don't know if we're going there or not. I'll be right back with the fender skirt. Sun's coming out. Jeez, what a nice looking rear end on that car, man. You guys leave that trunk down there. Jeez, wow. I like how he smoothed out where the, Jeez, wow. where the license plate stuff was. Yeah. yeah. I think that looks good. Trying to get me going fast, right? Yeah. Trying to help me? Oh, I love my Jolene. Hard to believe how strong tape is sometimes, like when you want to get it off. Sometimes, I mean, it's not. Got saran wrap down on the bench. Everything should be fine on the paint side. 
this 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 uh, door lock mechanism on the on the fender skirts is a, probably the quickest thing I could come up with um, to make it work. That's the quickest thing I come up with. I got a little hole here. I want to. This one here has always been giving me a little bit of an issue. Just putting the car together today, but in, in the after a while we'll take the fender skirts all off. We'll tape this off off after a while and we'll black it this all out in here. You, you want that all nice and black in there and nice and black in there. We're gonna have to do the same with the front wheel opening. We want that all blacked out. We don't want to leave it all dirty looking. And it'll just look the best it can if we black it out. If we don't black it out, it's just gonna look like it's been painted and you left it. If you black it out, it's really gonna look sharp. And that's spooked the size of it. This is single stage urethane, the most practical paint that I could buy. It took us a little better than a gallon of paint. So that seems normal amount. It does. No easy Hilti. The only thing I don't like is banging the, <laughs> obviously banging the car. in the front first time I got that work all the way through come on that one always works so I'm just trying to scrape a little paint off I don't want to take it back off to break down the second, to be honest with you. back off this second. That worked up there. We'll take it back off. When... I've got the pin through. It can't come off. paint on it. Tear my fingers off, but I got her. Gorgeous! You up, Jolene. Awesome. Let me see there, Douglas. Super clean, super clean. Now, when when the, the marker lights come out of this bad boy, did the chrome go down on first? Did the chrome, it must have went down on first. Because it's got two marks that laid down on top yeah, of that. Exactly right. All right, let's take it back and check them pieces out and see how they go on. I never took it off, so I don't know. I 
think there was a couple hoodlums that took that off. I don't think we were in a big... That goes down on top of that, it must, eh? That that goes on there? Looks like it. I must go on top there like that. No, let's go on this side. That sits on top of that, I'm thinking. Just like that. All right, I'm going to give you that. Um, I don't know. I'd like to almost dump. That looks terrible. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I'd like to almost dump that in one of those, that vat of that strong stuff. I think I would anyways. Just going to take a look and see if we get any better pieces over here. Because we did have some more pieces. But we didn't have any of the marker light pieces that were any good, I don't think. Alrighty. I'm going to give you that stuff in a bucket in there, Doug. I'm, stuff in a bucket. I'm going to pour it in a container. And we're going to submerge those things, I think. You know what I mean? Just submerge them and see what it does. I mean, if I can get that off, I'd be happy. There's a bunch of screws around here that I took out. I was trying them off and on all the time. And there's marker lights going there, obviously. I don't know... I'm not sure. There's pieces everywhere. What's that? I think the other stuff will work. Yeah, the alubrite. I did. I put some on that in that container, but I think it messed the container up. Like so, you can't. We do have a spray bottle. Like I said, it screwed up the. I think, like, I'm pretty sure it's right in this bottle right here. Let's get this thing and submerge some in it. What am I going to submerge that in? A bucket or something? I want to see. Just looking for a a bucket to put in that, you know what I mean? Obviously. That's sharp. You wanna try that outside, Douglas? I sure can, buddy. See what happens. I just poured some out there. I don't know if it's gonna do anything. If it's not gonna do anything. Get that swash around in there. Come on, take a look at it. It's made it shine. Come on, Dave. Well, bring it off. You can see it. Yeah. Good, right? We'll probably end up oh, that little done. We'll probably end up spray that with chrome just to make it look a little bit better. Spray chrome. Spray chrome. chrome when it came Man. In. I like that. Oh, I, I like awesome. that. Someone, I think, painted those ones. That's why there's black all That's over. fine. This stuff. We'll take that off there too. When you feel like you've had enough of that, Doug, um, we'll 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 say over, and then we'll put a piece of something over top of it. So that stuff there we'll use to clean the grill and stuff. I bet you it'll bring that grill right around. I bet you. I just don't know if I want to tear it all apart. But, I mean, that's part of the game, I guess. Not sure what's going on here, but looks like it's bent. Huh? Are you going to take it outside? I am. I like to see it torn apart and, and um, cleaned and then put back together, but I still haven't got my... Wanted. That's not bad. We can take that all apart. May as well, in my honest opinion. We can see how it goes back together. That's no problem. Just have to have the screws. That's no problem. I think what we'll do is we'll take it apart in here. And then we'll take it out there. Actually, Doug's out there with it, so he's not going to have her. Well, that man, would you?
Do we know? Wait. I say, do we know? Wait. That piece is nice. These pieces, I think that um, that stuff out there will clean. This piece here is not that great. But. A lot of grease on there, like. Throw that on the floor, it's no good. I'm kind of wondering if it'd be easier for us to put this this front end together in pieces, I'm not sure. What? I may as well take each piece off and clean it ahead, mate. Sees no reason why not to. Get my glasses. Let's dissect this sucker. And there's no hurrying at this game. It's, you know, it takes what it takes. Happy with the finished curtain, look fabulous. Fabulous. <laughs> you should have been here for third coat. It was crazy. When the third coat was crazy, third coat was crazy. The reason I say it was crazy because we could barely walk, move, <laughs> we could barely do anything in there. Last coat, wow, it was something else. Um, do you figure I need? I need um, a picture. So you know how this goes back together. That'd be fantastic. This top chrome piece looks fantastic. I have to take the center piece out, I guess, first to, to get that out. Nice, different kind of screwdriver. Fina's not around him, is he? Is she? Not, not around the. Okay. What's that, baby? Working. Working, she is working. Man, those pieces are shiny. Well, they're way better than they were. Like, let's face it. Like, I wonder if can we take that long piece of stainless out there and do it. We can. We can. Yeah. I can tell him to take it out after he comes back in. And that stuff, once he gets it out of that stuff, it's going to doll off again. Like I'm, I say doll off again, but it probably will doll off again. have six different screwdrivers get this thing apart mm -hmm. fly head up there hey making out Douglas okay if you want to take grab a couple rags and lay them on the rags and let them dry or whatever I don't think you Why is that just full time? It's just one stream, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh. Right here? What am I doing? Douglas, if you want to lay them, think if you maybe if you just take them, grab that that um, plywood there, lay it on the ground, <coughs> lay them pieces on the ground without touching them, jack that thing up, and spray the water, spray them off. I get to use the new sprayer. Imagine. Damn. 
That'd be cool, but so much fun. Did he get his plywood? He's still scrubbing. Oh, he wants to still scrub, does he? Well, there's another piece over here like this. No, <laughs> they didn't have any, no, uh, they didn't have no options. I must, I must take a look. Like something. Yeah, it's got them looking good, eh? Mm -hmm. Well done. Tim, just throw them on the floor and step on them. I ain't worried about no cigarette butts. I'm not worried about it. We'll sweep the floor at the end of the day and they'll be gotten. Yeah. I'm thinking that that's the part that you see. <laughs> Is that dog out there? Mm -hmm. What's he got going on? Ooh, this is scary. Which piece is this? Oh, that's way better. Exact same piece. Exact same piece. I'll get him to clean this piece. Watch this piece, we have, look at this piece. Take a look at this. That's, that's what I found back in there in the bucket. This is what we're taking off. We took that one off. So that's gonna give her, this is a better piece than that one. Let's take it out and I'll give it to Doug and see what kind of shine you can get on that bad boy. You can go through the window if you want to be hard. You don't even have to get it cold. They, you know, do the best you can, Doug. And yeah, it's, uh, it's the hard part. You yeah. just got to chip it off your fingernails, for fuck's sake, uh, right? And I, don't, all right. Hands I, I would down. be done with it. Be done with it. Right. Be done with it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I can still get this off. Did that? Did know. that turn? Did it? Or? That, it's, it that's what I thought. It, I'm just, and they're just scrubbing it. It's like and it looked like it stained itself. Right? It took the chrome off it, huh? Did it? Oh. I thought it did something weird. I was looking at it, scrubbing away. It took the chrome off it. Didn't it? So that's not real chrome then, right? Oh shit. Fuck, right? I thought it was a little, little turn. Yeah, that's why I was over here up just scrapping the thing. I was like, boy, well, isn't it chrome? Ah, that does too bad. <laughs> Ruined our hood ornament. Took the chrome off it. Or it looked like it does. Or, yeah, it has. Ah, that's too bad. But sorry, it, man. I didn't mean to do that. I understand. It is what it is. I, did, I didn't know. This piece here, we want to try to clean and see what it goes like. 
you can spray that piece those pieces yep. off. Yep. Isn't that something? That's too bad. I feel bad now. Well, I wouldn't feel too bad, Doug. It's a mistake. I didn't. No, I know, man. It is what it is. Huh? Yeah. Fucking great stuff. <laughs> Take the chrome right off it too. Fuck right. Jesus. Yeah, that's definitely some of that stuff that you don't want to stick your hands into. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what to say. It is going to be what it's going to be. That's all it can be. And I see that one will come clean. I'm not sure if it scrub clean or if it go to. What it'll go to? Go. Huh? Ah! Kind of got her hoard on him in a bit. It did. Took the chrome off it. Or it seemed. Yeah, it's coming back, maybe, or I'm not sure. Yeah. It just seemed to dull it out. Huh? Shame. Because it was decent. It wasn't the best, but it was decent. And I threw it in there, so it's not his fault. It's nobody's fault. Just trying to clean it up the best we can. Probably me scrubbing it doesn't help it any. Have to send her and get her re chromed. I wonder if it smartened that other piece up on the grill or if it did what it did here. Looks better than it did. Mm. Those pieces there look tremendous, mm -hmm. way better than what they did. And I might be able to spray a little bit of chrome stuff on the front on this thing piece, right? Shine her up a bit. That's too bad. <laughs> Bought it because it has good chrome on it and ruined it. <laughs> I don't know what else to say than that. Rub that one clean. Where'd Beckles go? You drying them off? Yeah. Get the paint off. Huh? Get the paint off that. I'll dry one off. Will you try this piece, Doug? Try that piece? Because it sure made a difference in these pieces. And it sure made a difference in the hood piece. It's just that it took it off. <laughs> That's fine. It is what it is. It is what it is. What's that? It is what it is. What's looking better? Uh, uh, wrong piece. Okay. Looks better for a minute and then it, then you get... I'm just kind of wondering. Want to make sure all the juice is off it. I'm going to take it back to the air hose and blow it off.
That's a shame. I did that. Shame, shame, shame. They look better than they did. I'm kind of wondering, I'm not sure, do I spray some paint on? I has got an old rag, I shouldn't use that. I'm just wondering if I should spray some chrome on, like that, what do you think? Or just let it roll? Huh? What's that, let it roll? What's Doug got there all shiny? How'd that go, Doug? You, you take water to this? Um, Alrighty. Kind of wondering. These go over top of them pieces. They do, don't they? We need all the little screws that go in here. Hey there. Special signal light. Front. Look at that. I found it. Alright, we got I'm just wondering, this must go over top of the grill. Let's go on top of that. So this has got to go on first. That piece there is nice. Piece there needs to be cleaned. The center piece needs to be cleaned. So we're gonna have to rip it all apart, don't we? I'm thinking that we do. My poor thing. I should never threw that in there, but it is what it is. Flimsy stuff this is. Wow. Yeah. Here, Doug, you wanna take those two centers, take that red screwdriver there right behind you? Red screwdriver right there? On the bench. Take those two screws out. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, you keep a hold of the, the dog dish and I'll hold this piece. If you would take the dog dish out and give that a scrub down, that would be fantastic. This is the new piece that's going on, I guess. <laughs> Better than the other piece, ain't it? I wonder if I can smarten that up with some, what's that, you want this? What, what? I want. Al, you but touch all that. 
Looks like a doll in a dump. Huh? I mean, you don't want to go out and you put it on the I tried the other stuff, the aluminum bright side right, or the... Do you know I don't know. What's the extreme, is it? Well, it is the extremest stuff that we have, but I mean, look at the stuff that we're working with. Yeah. <laughs> it's extreme too, isn't it not? Yeah. That kind of dulled it off, didn't it? Like the thing, didn't it? Don't you think? Huh? Yeah, can you try boomerang again, maybe? Ah. Man, you get a whiff of that stuff. I guess boomerang is what we'll stick with. No more stuff in that and out there, no more, is it? Nope, that's it for that. How'd it go? Kind of looks like he's all that up, doesn't it? Oh, really? more harm to do Huh? I don't know if more harm to do here. Oh, Let's clean this as boomerang. That's just shoved in there, isn't it? What's that way going? It does. I guess just boomerang this piece, the center piece. Do we take the eight out? You want that out? We're going to, I think we're not sure yet what we're doing there yet. We'll take that eight out, I think. That just pushes out, doesn't it? See if you can get it out. Yeah. I think this just pulls up, don't it? Yeah, the clip's side sideways. I'll leave it be. Hmm. I don't know. And to be to be honest with you, the grill probably shouldn't go in until we get this painted, eh? And we got to deal with that. Looks terrible right there, but it is what it is. Got to start somewhere. Um. I'm just lost with the rush of the grill there and stuff. I'm kind of lost with it right now. And the reason being is I don't know what to put on it. I'm going to try to bring this back somehow. How do we bring that back? How do we bring that stainless back? Whew. Smell that stuff? Or is it just that? Burning, eh? Nate outside? Oh, you might. Yeah. Alrighty. Mmm. Do I have any compound? I don't know. This is the other one. This one that's going on. Boomerang. Boomerang. Yeah, not the not the heavy stuff. I don't think. Or actually, it don't hurt this stuff, does it? Depends. I don't know what's what here anymore. Well, it did shine that up quite clean. How about just give it a quick clean with that, and then. Wash it off. As soon as it becomes shiny and clean, wash it off. That would probably be the best bet, I'm thinking. Yeah, don't keep hands on that stuff. Somewhere on your hands. Mm -hmm. Not on your hands, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Huh? Yeah. Thank you. Well, shiny, eh? That piece is pretty good. I have to get that piece on the bottom first. 
I'm sure we can bring that stainless back up, no problem. Wow. Thanks for coming back and watching. We really appreciate it. We have gone backwards a little bit on our stainless and our chrome, putting it in the stuff there, but this is stainless, so that can be polished up no problem whatsoever. Um, it did really bring that chrome back alive really good though, but we have to change a few things out. Um, everybody's working hard. It's kind of hard to show anything or do much when you're trying to put something back together. You have to be twice as careful as you was taking it apart and you're cleaning it at the same time. But you come back tomorrow and you'll get to see more of it being put together, maybe even pulled outdoors. I don't know. Have a great day, everybody. I'm glad to have everybody back.